Hey guys, uh, we'll be starting in two minutes. Let's be for two minutes. Okay. Good evening, tech enthusiasts. Welcome to Android Jetpack Compose Camp under Google Developer Students Club of GES COENGG. I am Aaron Gaikwad, delighted to be your host for today's evening. We are thrilled to have you here today as we embark on a journey into the dynamic and ever evolving world of Android development. This event promises to be an exciting exploration of the latest trends, essential tools in the domain of Android. Here is the exciting agenda that awaits us. First of all, we have unveiling the Android development. Next, we are going to explore the tools for Android development. Then next, languages used for Android development, proceeding with introduction to Android Jetpack Compose. The next Android XML versus Android Jetpack Compose, followed by a really fun Kahoot game. Then proceeding further, we are divide we are diving into what is Kotlin, then its features, and what is Kotlin used for. And lastly, we will have a small Q&A part where you can shoot your doubts in the live chat box. Today, we have an incredible lineup of speakers who will share insights of basics of Android, to diving into the powerful Kotlin language. But before we dive into our speaker presentation, let me introduce our speakers for today's evening. We are privileged to have Samradni Salunke from the content team <coughs> and Akshada Varkhede from design team. Now, without further ado, let's kick off our event with our first speaker, Samradni Salunke. So get ready. Hello everyone, I'm Samradni Salunke, here to unravel the wonders of Android development and introduce you all to the most exciting and revolutionary Android Jetpack Compose. Whether you are a seasoned developer or someone just curious about Android development, this episode is for you all. But before we jump into the Jetpack Compose, let's quickly revisit what Android development is. So, according to the formal definition, Android development is type of the software engineering that involves creating applications that run on the Android platform. Well, to simply put this, it's just the art of creating cool apps for those devices you can't live without, your smartphones, tablets, and many more. And to do this, we have our trusty Android Studio. And your Android operating system is Linux-based, open source, and kernel-based that will give you flexibility to design and deploy simple or advanced applications easily. So now, what are the tools for developing Android app? Well, we have our Android Studios. So now let's talk about the tool that all the developers use to turn their ideas into reality. 
Well, Android Studios is the official integrated development environment for app development. It provides first user-friendly interface. Now, what this user-friendly interface is? Well, it's like a comfortable organized workspace that you can use for building your apps. It's easy to use, just like arranging tools and materials neatly on a workbench so that you can focus on coding without getting lost. Secondly, it's a powerful code editor. Well, think of it like a magic pen, guys. Your magic pen will help you write the instructions for your app without any error, which will make you feel like you're writing a clear and understandable letter to your computer. And lastly, it has got tools for debugging, testing, and performance optimization. Now, these tools for debugging are like the detectives. Sounds cool, right? Well, these detectives don't only detect the errors, but also make sure that your application runs as fast and efficiently as possible. Next, we have got the components of Android development. Well, building any Android app is like creating a team of specialists. So let's meet our specialist. So now these Android apps are built using various components and understanding this is a very crucial part. It's very crucial. It may sound a bit clingy, but let me put it into simple words. First component is activities. Now think of activities like the frontliners, which will manage what you're seeing and interacting with. Secondly, we have services that work behind the scenes. Then we have broadcast receivers. Well, the name, suggest, name tells you itself, right? They are like the messengers which will deliver the announcement, just like notifying the user about the call or message. And lastly, we have content providers. Well, it will make sure that different parts of your apps can easily share and access the data. I'm very sure that you all must be wondering about this, right? Which languages to use for Android development? Well, here's your answer. First, we have Java, the traditional language for Android development. And secondly, Kotlin. It was introduced by JetBrains and it's gaining popularity in recent days because of its concise syntax and enhanced features. This Kotlin and Java are interoperable and they seamlessly work together, which will allow the developers to effortlessly switch between these two languages, making your coding smooth and an integrated process. Now, let's unveil the star of the show, Jetpack Compose. Now, imagine a tool that lets you build your app's UI with less boilerplate code, more fun and a sprinkle of modernity. Well, that, my friends, is Android Jetpack Compose. Jetpack Compose is a toolkit for building native Android UI. It's a declarative toolkit that will combine reactive programming model with Kotlin programming language. It's designed to simplify UI development. It has less code, powerful tools, and intuitive Kotlin APIs which will make Android UI faster and easier. Now, what are the features of this Android Jetpack Compose that I have been blabbering a lot about? Well, let's see. Next slide, please. First, it's declarative UI. Well, it has got simplified UI development with declarative approach. What it exactly means is you just have to describe what you want your app to look like and behave, and Jetpack Compose will take care of it. It's just like ordering a meal at any restaurant and they get it prepared for you. Secondly, we have Kotlin integration. It has got concise syntax and powerful features that help you to create expressive code. In, in simple points, it's like Jetpack Compose speaks same language like Kotlin, making it having a smooth conversation between you and your computer, which will ensure that both of you, that is your computer and you, are on the same page for building your app. Then we have state management. Simplified state handling by automatically updating UI components. 
it's like giving your app a smart assistant and that assistant is so smart that it can change and update itself next fourth point we have is integration with jetpack libraries seamless integration with existing jetpack libraries basically your jetpack compose has ready made tools and components it's just like assembling a toolkit of gadgets which will build your app more efficiently just like you would assemble parts to create something very cool your jetpack compose is a open source which will foster community contributions transparency and continuous improvement in simple words it's like sharing and improving a recipe for your app with global community it's a collaborative cookbook guys where everyone can add and make their twists in something amazing together and lastly we have theming and styling it's self explanatory right you can add colors appearances and typography to your app okay now before we delve into this comparison i want you all to picture this thing imagine android like a reliable old car you have had you have had for many years but sometimes it feel a bit clunky right okay now enter android jetpack compose it's like upgrading from that old car to a sleek futuristic hoverboard cool right so your app development journey will become a lot more exciting so now let's hop in to the comparison between android and android jetpack compose well we can compare it on four major points first is ui definition well in android xml layouts you have imperative and procedural functioning with xml layouts while in android jetpack compose it's more declarative secondly we have ui preview wherein in android xml you will require continuous feedbacks visual feedbacks and in jetpack compose you get real time previews with on basis of testing ui testing may be very complex in xml layouts while in jetpack compose you have got enhanced ui that will make it more easier and lastly integration with kotlin your android xml does work with kotlin but it has got different syntaxes right and in jetpack compose it will allow seamless integration between them well guys these are some of the most amazing apps which are built using android jetpack compose the first one is lift second we have pinterest our personal favorite and we all love to use it and then we have soundcloud well this was all from my side guys i hope you enjoy the session further wow now it was really winsome session for all of us thank you thank you you made this session more expressive and enjoyable experience now it's time to test your knowledge i would like to invite naitik for our usual and exciting kahoot so hello guys let's start yes so let's refresh our mind with our games so guys get ready to kahoot so i would like to display the pin or qr code yeah guys get ready so our pin is getting generated so join at kahoot.it or scan the qr code the pin is 9154379 also you scan can scan the qr code for the faster access hmm i don't it's an exciting game right yes it is an exciting game yeah we are waiting for our guys, players to join. join faster yeah guys join faster let's test your knowledge
we have a first player here, Mehul. Yeah. Yeah, we have some players with different names. Hey, hey, boy. Hey, hey, boy. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> we have Gojo here. Yeah. Guys, join faster. We are waiting for you. For the excited game. Yeah, hello red. So we have one red color with us. Yeah, he, here we have another player, Tanmay. Guys, join faster. Harry Potter, wow. Interesting character. One more happy <laughs> person also join. Come on, guys. This is going to be a fun quiz. Invite everyone you know. So, Aaron, let's start. Yeah, we have one more Kasturi. Hello, Kasturi. Yeah, here we have one Vaishnavi. Hello, Vaishnavi. So we have enough players, so let's start the game. Yeah, one more Kojo. Kojo is back. Yeah. So join faster guys, we are waiting for you. Come on guys. Let's start, Naitik. Yeah, so let me start the quiz. Yeah, one more hello Pranav, Pratiksha. Yeah, here the game begins. So let's start. Here is our first question. Three, two, one. Quiz. What is the Android Studio? So here are our options. Come on, guys. Answer fast. Guys, your ranking will be decided as fast as you click on the answer. Your ranking will go upper. So we are excited to see on you, you Three, on top on two, leadership board. One. Yeah, the correct option is B. That is ID for app development. Wow, seven people have given the right answer. Seven. Yeah, all are right. So Harry Potter is on top and then Saturo. Yeah, and he Gojo. Bought. Saturo yeah. Gojo, I guess. Right? Yeah. Push up Kasturi Vaishnavi. You can do it. Come on, guys. You can do better. Yeah, you can do it. Let's get ready for the next question. Yeah. In Android development, what is APK file? Yeah, Aaron. It's a quite tough or easy. I will say it is moderate question. Those who are left can join the game. The pin is mentioned below. A lot. Yeah. So, 5% oh, five, uh, five give correct answer. Two and one wrong. So leaderboard again. So here jumps up the Vaishnavi to second position and red to fourth position. Wow. Well going, guys. 
So here is our next question. That's great. Yeah, you jump. Kotlin is official supported for Android development alongside with other programming language. Yeah, quite easy question. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. I guess many people will know the answer. Ah, yeah, seven on seven will be correct. I think. Yeah. Leader board will again update. Oh, yes. So we know Java having... is the other programming language hmm. alongside Kotlin, right? Yeah, right. So here is our leadership board again. So let's see who take a jump, bigger jump. So again, Gojo takes a jump, and Kasturi takes a jump, and Harry Potter is. Highest answer. Harry Potter Brilliant is the fastest. Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter. Yes, given magical all the three boy. questions right. Yeah, it's a magical boy. In Kotlin, <laughs> how do you declare a variable? So guys, it's a kind of a technical question. Let's see who give the correct answer. This will change the leadership board. This question. I think so too. Hmm. Oh, yeah, great guys. Six question gave uh, six people gave right answer to the question. So here is our that's leadership good, board good. again. So there is no, no change. change in position, but Harry Potter is still leading. Then go join Vaishnavi. Yeah, great guys. So let's go ahead. Come on, guys! This is the last question. You can still win. Yeah, abhi change hona chahiye bolo. So, what is primary language? Okay, advantage of using Kotlin over Java for Android development. Ha, this is quite tough question. Chalo, ab da. Lagta hai is is baar bache lock galat answer karenge. सात करोड़ नहीं जानी चाहिए फाइव पीपल गेव द राइट आंसर लीडरशिप बोर्ड सो हु इज द सात करोड़ थर्ड राइट टू गोजो नाइस सेकेंड वैष्णवी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन and the first rank so let's first rank any guesses guys yeah harry potter correct wow wow congrats so i hope that you are all get got refresh in between some informative session so i will hand over to aaron to continue the compose okay bye bye guys thank you naitik it was a great quiz as we transition to our next segment now I would like to call Akshada Workhede to guide us. Akshada, now the virtual floor is yours. Thank you, Aaron. So, hi everyone. Hi everyone. I am Akshada Varkhede and welcome to our coding adventure. Today we are going to explore a super cool programming language called Kotlin. Imagine Kotlin as your friendly coding buddy. It's like having a special set of tools that make coding easier and more fun. 
Kotlin is a statically typed, object-oriented programming language that is interoperable with Java Virtual Machine, Java Class Libraries, and Android. So, what's so special about Kotlin? Well, imagine writing instruction for your computer that look a lot like everyday conversation. Simple and easy to understand. Kotlin is like multi-talented artist. It can help you to create all sorts of things from making apps for your phone to building website and even designing games. Now, here's the exciting part. Kotlin plays well with other languages, especially Java. This means you can use Kotlin in projects alongside other languages without any problem. Who here has heard of errors in coding? Well, Kotlin has a superhero power called null safety that helps prevent many of these errors, making your code more reliable and safer. And guys, and guess what? Kotlin loves making your life easier. It has shortcuts and special tricks that help you write code faster and with less effort. Now, big companies like Google love Kotlin, especially for making Android apps. That's how awesome it is. So whether you are just starting your coding journey and or already know a bit about programming, Kotlin is a fantastic language for to learning and explore. So now let's take a tour through the powerful feature that make Kotlin a standout in the world of programming language. Kotlin is not just any programming language, it's a powerhouse of feature that redefines simplicity and efficiency in coding. So let's dive into its incredible capabilities. First on our list is Kotlin's ability to make co code look and feel like a breeze to read and write. Kotlin speaks a language that's easy for both computer and us. It's like using everyday words to talk to your computer. This makes writing code simpler and easier to understand. Next up is Kotlin's versatility. Kotlin is like a creative toolbox. It's not limited to just one thing, whether you are building apps, crafting website, or tinkering with backend code. Kotlin got your back. Here comes the cool part, interoperability with Java. Kotlin and Java are best friends. They work together seamlessly. So if you are using Java or want to mix both languages, it's like having smooth conversation between them. Now the fourth one, the superhero power of Kotlin, the crown jewel of Kotlin, it's called null safety. This special feature helps protect your code from unexpected errors, making sure your program runs smoothly. Now, the last one, smart tools. Imagine having a magic wand that can write code for you. Well, almost. Kotlin has smart tools and shortcuts that make coding faster and more fun. It's like having a cheat code in your video game. All right, friends, these are just some of the superpower Kotlin brings to the table. Ready to explore these features and start your coding. But before that, Let's explore where you can put Kotlin to work. First one, Android app development. Everyone here uses smartphone, right? Kotlin is a superhero when it comes to making Android apps. It helps you to build those awesome apps you love using on your phones and tablets. Second, server side development. Ever wondered how website works behind the scenes? Kotlin isn't just about mobile apps. It's your friend in the world of server-side development. It tells power website and online services. Third, web development. Now speaking of website, Kotlin is also a cool tool for creating web solutions. You can use it to build dynamic and interactive website that people love to visit and explore. Fourth, cross-platform development. Now get this. Kotlin isn't fuzzy about platform. It's your ticket to creating apps and work across different devices and operating system. Write code once and run it on various platforms. 
now gamers it's for you it's about game development kotlin isn't just for practical stuff it's for fun too you can use it to create awesome games that keep everyone entertained and glued to their screen whether you are just into mobile apps websites games or even server side magic kotlin is your trusty sidekick that makes coding things a breeze so now you have gained a lot about android basic compose so now let get your hands on exclusive resources provided by google for that let me share my screen first these resources are designed to help beginners it contains guide basic kotlin best practices and more you can access it through its link which is provided in our description box so who is excited to try their hand at making some cool projects with kotlin let's get started and have fun creating amazing things together happy learning and creating with jetpack compose thank you everyone Now that was really magical. Listening you listening to you unravel the mysteries of Kotlin. You made this concept more accessible and enjoyable. Thank you everyone for your insightful presentations. Now let's move on to the interactive part of our event. The question and answer round. I call upon Samradni and Akshada for the session feel free to type your question in the chat if your question is directed to a specific speaker kindly mention their name along with your query let's make this question and answer session engaging and informative without further delay let's dive into the questions Guys, come on, if you have any question. Ask them in our comments. Comment your question in the chat box, guys. Come on, people. I guess we have a question. Yes, guys, the course is free.
there's again a question can we use it for free the link which is given in comments guys you can use it for free it's completely free for you all you just have to create a google developers profile and you're good to go the course contains from basics to advanced concepts like building basic layouts to amazing apps so you can surely go ahead with the course what do you suggest kotlin or java that's an interesting question guys what do you suggest kotlin or java guys you can go with kotlin yeah i think from today's session i'll also be taking kotlin so how can i get started with android uh you can use the link which we have provided in the description box which will redirect you to the google's official website resource repository and from there you can enroll yourself for the google's developers profile and continue with the course mm -hmm. okay so we are again uh, we have been asked again what is the basic difference between kotlin and java uh, so kotlin offers several improvements and enhancements over java uh, here are some key differences like concise syntax null safety which is the superpower of uh, kotlin then there is extension functions so these are just some basic difference between them thank you mm. <clears throat> Yes, guys. We Are have we lined up several sessions for you. We are going to take hands-on projects for you all. You can surely join it. It's tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow we'll be showing the projects as well. At seven p.m. So be ready. guys alarm laga ke rakh do 7 baje so you can uh, see the projects and also get to know how you can make the projects and all you're welcome guys any more questions you are welcome guys we are happy that you liked our session thank you for joining this session okay i guess there are no more for the doubts so these were some interesting question guys you can even connect with us by searching g e s c o e n g g on any platform Also, the link to our social media are given in the description. So yeah, if you have any questions or further doubts, you can connect with us. Now, in closing, let's extend our appreciation to our incredible speakers, audience. Thank you for being heartbeat to this event. and the entire team behind this event 
this journey would not have been the same without each and every one of you stay inspired stay connected and keep coding and have a wonderful day ahead thank you thank you guys for joining <laughs>